بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إننا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وغير المغوب عليهم ولا المالين History of the Saints of the Golden Chain Number 4 Qasim ibn Muhammad ibn Abu Bakr So long as you have not contemplated the Creator, you belong to created beings. But when you have contemplated Him, created beings belong to you. Ibn Atta'ala Hikam Qasim ibn Muhammad ibn Abu Bakr was one of the seven most famous jurists in Medina. It was through these seven great imams that the traditions, early jurisprudence and Quranic commentaries were disseminated to the people. His mother was the daughter of the last king of Persia, Yazdagird. His grandfather was the first caliph, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. He met some of the successors of the companions, including Salim ibn Abdullah ibn Omar. He was a pious imam and was very knowledgeable in the narration of traditions. Abu Zanad said, I never saw anyone better than him in following the sunnah of the Prophet. In our time, no one is considered perfect until he is perfect in following the sunnah of the Prophet and Qasim is one of the perfected men. Abdurrahman ibn Abi Zanad said that his father said, I did not see anyone who knew the Sunnah better than Al-Qasim did. Abu Nuaym said of him in his book Hiliyat al-Awliya, he was able to extract the deepest juristic rulings and was supreme in manners and ethics. Imam Malik narrated that Omar ibn Abdulaziz, considered the fifth rightly guided caliph, said, If it were in my hands, I would have made al-Khasim the caliph in my time. Sufyan said, Some people came to al-Khasim with charity, which he distributed. After he distributed it, he went to pray. While he was praying, the people began to speak negatively about him. His son said to them, You are speaking behind the back of a man who distributed your charity and did not take one dihram from it for himself. Quickly his father scolded him by saying, Do not speak, but keep quiet. He wanted to teach his son not to defend him, as his only desire was to please God. He had no concern for the opinion of people. Yahya ibn Sayyid said, We never found in our time in Medina anyone better than Al-Qasim. Ayub as sakitiani said, I have not seen anyone better than Imam Qasim. He left 100,000 dinars behind him for the poor when he passed away, and it was all from his lawful earnings. He died in a place between Makkah and Medina called al Khudaid in the year 108 or 109 Hijra, 726 current era, while he was on pilgrimage. He was 70 years old. al Khasim passed the secret of the golden chain to his successor, his grandson, the Imam Jafar al-Sadiq.